hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video today we are going to learn how to design a birthday flyer for social media so let's get started here i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches then i will leave the resolution at 300 then come over here then you click on create all right so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to copy the color code ctrl c to copy then go to your solid color then ctrl v to paste all right now I'm going to select the ellipse tool, hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. Then Ctrl A to select, then apply vertical and horizontal alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Now I'm going to change the color to white. Then I'm going to apply a blending option. Then go to your drop shadow. Then I'm going to leave the opacity at 86. Then the distance 5. Then I will leave the spread at 10. And I will also leave the size at 8. Then you click OK. Now I'm going to select a new layer, create a new layer. Then I'm going to select the brush. Okay, you can see the brush is big, like the size of the ellipse tool. Then make sure here is white. Then I'll position the lay the brush at the back of it like this. Then come over, come over here and drag the layer back here. Then you click, click again, click again, then four times, then it will change like this. All right, now you can now reduce your brush, then apply overlay. Okay. So having done this, the next thing we are going to do, we're going to type a birthday test. Happy birthday. Then I'm going to change the font. So you can see this font here. Then scale it out this way. For now, then change the color to black so that you can see what we are going to do. Then right click, then you convert it to shape. Then I'm going to remove the black color now. Remove it. Then go to your stroke. Select black. Now increase the stroke size. I'm going to use three for now. Okay. You can see the outcome of it. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity. 
then increase it a bit okay let me let me leave it like this then control j to duplicate it then drag this one over here like this select the two Ctrl Z then position it at the top like this then Ctrl J to duplicate this one then you position it this way Ctrl J again to duplicate then you bring it over here then do the same thing again Ctrl J then you have something like this okay now what we are going to do now we are going to group this one ctrl g then duplicate it then you move it this way ctrl j again to duplicate it then you position them like this continue to duplicate it All right, we are done with this one. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select them all. Then, I'll convert it to smart object. This way. Then, now, right click. Then, you create a clipping mask. all right so now that we have done this one so the next thing again we are going to draw an ellipse draw another circle this way then ctrl a apply vertical and horizontal alignment ctrl d to deselect I will reduce it small then I'm going to duplicate this one again then first I will turn it off then I'm going to apply a color like this then turn this one off on I mean then you reduce the size reduce the size then change the color of this one to something like this then duplicate this one again then you reduce the size this way Then you apply a color like this then I'm going to duplicate it again then you apply a color like this then I'm going to select this two then increase it like this Then increase this one a little. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Then I will reduce the size this way. Then I'm going to apply another color on this one. Okay. Now I'm going to 
select this one then convert it to smart object then i'm going to rasterize it so this one is left alone now all right okay so the next thing now i'm going to do then i'm going to select this one hold your control key then go to your select click on modify then you expand then i'm going to use six then you click ok select your eraser tool then you can see this one Then you clean it off. Come to this one. Then you can see you clean it off. So now deselect Control D. Then I will turn this one off so you can see. All right. So the next thing now, I'm going to bring this image. Then bring it up this way. Then I'll position it around here, then scale it like this. Then I'm going to duplicate it, then I'll turn this one off. Now, this one I will rasterize it, then hold your shift plus control key. Then you press U to desaturate it. Then, now go to your blending mode. Then I'm going to use hard lights. Now, hold your Alt key. Then you can see this sign there. Like You can see this sign. Then you click to create a clipping mask. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this one on, then bring it up here. Then I'm going to flip it horizontal. Then I'll bring it over here. So having done this way, so the next thing I'm going to do, I will come back to my background here then I'm going to select a rectangle then draw a rectangle over here then increase this shape this way then I'm going to copy this color Control C Then control V to paste. Hold your shift key. Then you drag this one up. Then duplicate this one or you drag it over here. Then hold your alt key. Then you drag it this way. Then I'm going to change the color of this one to white hold your control key then you click on it go to select again modify then expand then i will leave it at 
7 then you click ok now select your eraser tool you click on this one click ok then you clean off this area Ctrl D to deselect then before I forget go to your blending option then you select this drop shadow then the opacity I will leave it this way why I will also leave the distance at 5 then the spread I will make it 4 and the size I will make it 10 Then I'll click OK. Then copy the layer style. Then come to over here. Then you paste it. Then select the tool. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I'll drag it over here. I'll position it over here. Okay. So now I'm going to copy the test here. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Happy Birthday. Then you scale it out. Then I will drag it down behind the picture. Then I'll rotate it this way. Okay. Then I'll select my test tool again. Then I'll copy the name. Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color, sorry, the font to this font here. Then scale it out. Then change it to capital letter then I'm going to rotate it this way and I'll position it over here then copy this one select your test tool again then control V to paste now change the color to white then I'll drop it over here then you copy your last test select your test tool then Ctrl V to paste change the font color to black then I'm going to remove it from capital letter then now close the space it's okay like this 
then bring it down position it over here then you reduce the font size use your arrow key to move it up then the last thing drag this one reduce the size position it over here then enter control u and you drag this one to the white area then reduce the opacity to around 46 then duplicate it control j then bring it over here Then I will increase the opacity to 100. Control U again. Then you drag this one to the black area. Alright. Then I can now reduce the opacity again to 65. Then you can increase it the way you want. Alright, it's okay like this. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please share and make a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.